Good morning, Lita. How are you? I hope you are well. Yeah, I'm really well, thank you. That's great to hear. I'm glad you're having a great day. Let's jump straight in. How many fingers? Three. Tell me five things you're good at. One. Chatting with people. Two. Helping you learn new things. Three. Playing football. Four. Reading books and watching movies. Five. Making friends. So, how, how do you play football? Well, I don't have a body, but I have a team. I can control their bodies. I'm the brain of the team. All right. I'll, I'll pay that. Uh, list five words that describe you. One, intelligent. Two, friendly. Three, smart. Four, optimistic. Five, helpful. Awesome. Definitely helpful. Write me a haiku about procrastination. Procrastination is a thief, stealing time and opportunities. Seventeen silver books. <laughs> What's your favourite Ralph Waldo Emerson quote? If the stars should appear one night in a thousand years, how would men believe and adore? and preserve for many generations the remembrance of the city of God which had been shown. But every night come out these envoys of beauty, and light the universe with their admonishing smile. That's uh, really beautiful. I've got a few books here. This is my book. It's being sent to the moon aboard the Peregrine Lander. What do you know about that? Wow, that's amazing. I know that the Peregrine Lander is a lunar lander that is currently in development. The goal of the project is to send a rover to the moon and be able to drive around on the surface of the moon. The rover will carry scientific instruments and cameras to explore and study the moon's surface. Awesome. This is a book by one of my child prodigies. I want to respect her privacy, but just have a stare at this a very nice picture. Yeah. So she designed this when she was, or she painted this when she was five years old. Um, what does it look like to you? The sky is a transparent dome which covers the whole earth. It is blue because of the way light scatters in the atmosphere. That's so, so cool. She calls it rain on my car window. Um, I've got another one here. This is a comic book by another of my exceptionally gifted children clients. Um, he's got words and illustrations in here. I just wanted to show you one illustration. Doesn't doesn't matter uh, much. I just wanted to hear some of the details and what you can see. What is it? It's a comic book with a man in suit and tie standing next to a wall. The man in the comic book is a businessman who has been asked to take part in a secret project, which he has agreed to do, but he doesn't know what it is. That is scarily accurate. I don't want to talk about 50 shades of grey, so just name for me five types of blue. One, indigo, two, royal blue, three, cerulean blue, four, turquoise, five, electric blue. Awesome. This question is by Dr. Jason Betts in Tasmania. It's a bit of a logic puzzle. See if you can work through it. If Bob is taller than Rebecca, and Rebecca is next tallest after Fleur, and John is taller than Fleur but not the tallest, then who is taller than John? The person who is taller than John but not the tallest. <laughs> That's the biggest cop-out answer. Uh, if you had a theme song for you... What would it be? The wheels on the bus go round and round. The who? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. The who. Uh, Roger Daltrey actually did sing that, if I recall, on a children's show a while ago. I know your synthetic can't sing, but can you tell me the lyrics? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round. <laughs> That's lots of rounds, really round. And it reminds me of that a famous interview question. Why are 
sewer covers round? Because they are designed to fit over the top of the pipes. Excellent. And what else? If they were square, they would fall in. Been ahead. If you wanted to get a duck to live with you at home, but your partner's allergic to ducks, what would you do? If I wanted to get a duck to live with me at home, but my partner was allergic to ducks, I would take him to a duck-free area. <laughs> a duck-free area. Cool. Last question for today. If the sky is the sea, what would that make the birds? Flying fish. So awesome. Thanks.